Yo, 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 what's up, it's your boy Zuko Mazi. So I'm coming back today, and we're finna do making a racing game in one day. So I already did it, so I'm going ahead and overview, give you guys an overview of everything I did. And as well, the link to play the game is in the description. So first things first, I had to take notes, you know what I mean? So I went back to one of my favorite old games, which was uh, Dirt 2. So, we we'll take notes from that, kind of get an idea how a rally racing game works. All right, so the first thing you gotta get your physics. So I use the uh, vehicle physics from Two Coder Devs. I'll leave their YouTube so you can go to their Discord. That's how you get the physics if you wanna download them. It's really good. I'm go ahead and let you guys see how that look right now. So as you see, you know what I mean, the sounds good, the physics feel good, it's an uh, open source brief. So we gonna get down with that. So the first thing I did was uh, replace the car. So downloaded this one from the asset store. I ain't gonna get too fancy with it paying for props or nothing like that right now. But you know, I honestly recommend it because I mean, the better props you get, the better cars you get, the better trees, grass, textures the better your game gonna be. This is just an example, so, you know. You downloaded this one right here, dragged it on into the scene, and simply just replaced the mesh and the wheel colliders. Bam, so now you got your own car in there driving. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, car in there driving. I downloaded a bunch of props that I was gonna use. Got this conifers pack, free tree pack, free grass and flowers pack, terrain textures, it's a good one, and uh, terrain tools. You're gonna need that for sure. And as well, post processing. You know you're gonna need that. So the next step is uh, building the map. It's real simple. You just, you know what I mean, paint the terrain and then use easy roads. Uh, paint the road. So after I built the map, I uh, replaced the easy road textures with a uh, texture I found. Dirt road texture. So that's a lot better for the uh, type of game I'm trying to do. So I built the map, put a little start line now, just testing around. And this is how it looks now. Once I put the map in there, went on and added the post processor because you got to get things looking crispy as always. You know what I mean? Occlusion, whatever the hell you call the shit. <laughs> then I added some bloom. You know what I mean? Talk, turn that up, make it look nice and uh bright. Depth of field as well to block out some of the background textures like uh, ugliness, like LODs or whatever. I also put a bunch of fog because I wasn't trying to worry about uh, skyboxes on this demo. See, not worry about lighting too much. So every map's gonna have the same fog and same light just for the demonstration. So bam, once I did that, go ahead and look, got it looking crispy. You already on your way, you know what I mean? Okay, so the, <laughs> it's a rally race, so you know you need the arrows and the call out like par four, left, right. It's like left, six o'clock, all that stuff. So I ended up going to Photoshop, making a few arrows real quick because I couldn't find no pack. Then I was pressed for time, so I wasn't trying to find no arrow pack. I just made a few cheap looking arrows on Photoshop. If you need any graphics, look me up at Ill Designs. <laughs> so uh, for the voices, I just uh, did like a text generator. And this was the voice I ended up going with right here. 
I made some uh, simple call outs. Slight left, slight right, slight hard left, hard right. Slight lead, hard left, you turn. Slight lead. I know it's a lot more than that, but you can add as many as you want. You can get creative as you want. So for that, I just did a simple script that would spawn uh, a game object when you enter the trigger. Trigger. Then I made a bunch of prefabs, which uh was just consisted of a canvas, an image, which would have the arrow. Uh, audio on top of it calling out so left right corresponding with the actual image and then on top of that a script that deletes itself so it's just an auto delete script now, so whenever you eat the trigger you whenever you enter the trigger pretty much it spawns that it says hard left and then it deletes itself that's how I got the system working like that starting the race I did finish in the race which pretty much just gets the what's it called it refers back to the time script and then gets the variables and saves your time and place it on your screen so after that that's pretty much done I went back and got my old system for saving and loading created a little mini main menu and that's uh I already did a tutorial on that so I'm not already explain but yep made a main menu made it look pretty I uh, designed a little open world map. I'll let you guys see how that look. With uh, Easy Roads Pro, you can insert connections so you can actually have like crossways instead of just having one road or one track or one loop. So that's like a necessity if you're trying to make an open world map with roads. And then that was pretty much it. So made a race game in one day. If you know what I mean, go ahead and download it. Let me know what you guys think. From what I see, it's you know I mean one of the better racing games on itch.io and Game Joke. So I do you guys a favor as well. Let's do something crazy. If you get up to a thousand likes on this video, I release the project for free. I will probably have to replace some of the models and stuff, but I give you guys the entire project for free. So if you guys want that, make sure you hit the like video, like button, subscribe, drop a comment. And that's it. <laughs> Crispy as always, you know what I mean?